Hello. Oh man, so many technical issues today. <laughs> okay. Give me a minute here. <laughs> Okay, I got water. Stream should be working. Minecraft should be working. My microphone should be working. Headphones should be working. Man, today was a, a mess. <laughs> Alright, let me turn down this music. Because, my god. And then I will turn down this since music does appear to be working. All right. So this is the start of Vault Hunters. It is a new mod pack, or relatively new, I should say. I believe it was made for a bunch of streamers to play, but it is open to play, so I'm going to play it. Uh, I started a world just to make sure it actually runs and to tweak some of the settings a bit. So we will start. Oops, if I can type. Uh, I'll play on hard. No cheats. And then I'll use my own username as the world generating. Yeah, world generator like I usually do. So this one's supposed to be pretty pretty familiar to vanilla except they do have different mods that will be enabled and then after the end you're supposed to be able to enter these vaults and kind of hunt for these artifacts that are hidden away inside of them. I haven't actually watched anyone play it, but it sounds cool. So I always like new Minecraft mod packs. Now, when I did start this earlier and tested a new world, the textures we're kind of awful looking so we might just have to deal with that and hopefully it'll either fix itself at some point or <laughs> maybe I'll switch mod packs because I did a bit, of, a bit of Google Foo and it's so new that I think a lot of people don't have like any reported issues so my issue might be unique and you'll probably see it as soon as it loads Oh yeah, I also tore out some of the RAM from one of my home servers and threw that into my PC. So now I have more RAM. So hopefully uh, when I'm playing something that's very RAM intensive, it uh, won't, won't break my PC. Ow! Okay, yeah, so that, that texture issue is still present. I don't I don't know how to fix that. So we'll have to play with it and just uh hope it goes away. As you can see there's a, a bar above the hunger. That's supposed to be like your vault level and you can gain levels inside of that to unlock like new skills and stuff. But we're we're gonna be a ways away from that. Oops. I don't even know what I clicked. This. I 
I hope that that visual glitch is only for certain blocks. Because I've tinkered with the resource settings and I don't think anything really causes it. It's slightly annoying, but it's, it's workable. I can see everything. I wonder if they have vein miner on this. I guess only one way to find out. Mm, didn't look like it. I haven't actually looked at all the mods that are in here. <laughs> I do need to tweak that. That sound though, cause that is also very loud. There we go. Now it doesn't pierce my eardrums every time I break a leaf. And let me just reassemble the tree to cut down the rest of the tree. <laughs> Usually spruce are uh, pretty friendly to work with. Apparently not in this mod pack. They made spruce taller. Oh my god, how tall is this tree? Oh, thank you. I definitely need better tools. Because <laughs> I think it took about half of the first day just to cut down one tree. Alright, so this is supposed to be very adventure focused. So we'll probably wait a bit before deciding to... the heck is that over there? We'll probably wait a bit until I settle on a base. Also these trees are already on fire. Ow. That, that log was still on fire, I couldn't even tell it was a log. <laughs> I like those trees, I don't know what those are. They definitely mess with trees, because these are different, different way of spawning. Skyrus log. Those look kind of neat. A green apple. I wonder if that means it's not ripe. Well, everything is unknown at the moment, which is, I think, the most exciting part of a mod pack. It's when you're not sure what things to do at the moment. <laughs> or what's even available. Like, I don't know, this is zinc? I've seen the crate mod pack before, but I've never actually played it. Or the crate mod. Now I'm gonna bother cutting that down. I do need to make pickaxe, though. How's it going, painless? How'd your birthday go? Some basic tools. Look how much these fill up. Not a whole lot, but I think it gave me swiftness. Yeah, you can see it behind the mini map. See, turned out to not be so bad after all. Uh, I've had a day. <laughs> Today has been filled with bad luck. Uh, 
Uh, well, I started the day by not getting much sleep, despite going to bed at a reasonable time. And then I get to work, and we're supposed to have like a road trip today to go take care of some stuff. And we're not ready. So we get ready. We leave, we go down there. And then when we get there, we realize, you know, two hours of driving later that we forgot a bunch of stuff. And we're like, oh well, well, we'll get that next time. And then once we get inside, we're like, oh wait, this other thing doesn't, uh... <laughs> you did it again. <laughs> uh, we get inside and we realize, oh, this other thing is different. So we don't have power. So basically, we made a trip down for nothing. <laughs> Imagine, imagine just strapping like a thousand pounds of junk to your back and carrying it around and be like, okay, well this stuff doesn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, sorry wasps, I already know what you're doing. <laughs> Uh, the next plan is basically to, to schedule another trip and hopefully have a checklist that actually has everything we need in it. <laughs> also, when I got uh, lunch at a fast food place, they messed up my order and only gave me like half my order. So that sucked too. <laughs> Uh, my, my favorite fast food place is Taco Bell, so I usually go there. Oh, I got some lag. Yeah, I don't care that it's not authentic Mexican food. I just like... like the ingredients. <laughs> kind of a favor do you need? Ooh, what is that over there? Alright, that sounds good. I'll definitely still be around. You still have to let me know uh, how, your, how your day was also bad. <laughs> good luck with your school stuff. Oh yeah, I need to go over there. I want to find out what this, what, whatever that is. That silhouette has piqued my interest. What is this? Bauxite. If I remember right, Bauxite's usually, usually useless. Oh, what is that? Wake up and immediately have to do chores, huh? <laughs> The souls. Oh no, it's night time. I have no idea what spawns in the night in this mod pack. <laughs> Probably nothing good. Were they out of cakes at every Walmart? <laughs> yeah, it was really hot today. Oh, uh, so it's like a, a picky thing. <laughs> I think Chick-fil-A always takes forever. Whenever the guys at work want to go there, I just tell them good luck. <laughs> Well, if you get it out of the way, then uh, then you don't have to dread it anymore. 
That's usually how I force myself to do stuff. Alright, so far nothing evil has spawned. That is good. I really hope I can figure out what is causing this weird texture glitch. Because this looks fine. That does not look fine. <laughs> so weird. It's like whatever... It's so specific. Like it's fine until I move in that direction. Alright, I'll catch you later. I feel like I need to build something on that mountain, but at the same time, that would be a pain to climb. <laughs> hey Leo. I'm trying out uh, the Vault Hunters mod pack. So far I have no no idea what's really completely inside of this mod pack. So I'm just pretty much going to explore until I, I find some kind of structure maybe to claim as my home. <laughs> oh. I also really need to find sheep because I really need a bed. Yeah, it's pretty dark. That's the only way to explore a, a swamp, right? It's when it's dark. I hope there's no hostile mobs that are uh, aquatic based. <laughs> I'm getting like flashbacks to uh, RL Craft where you never want to enter the water, ever. I hope that that village will provide safety. <laughs> I have a feeling it will not. Also, those berries do not do much for hunger. I do have it on hard, so I can starve to death. What is that? Oh, those are just fish. I'm not worried about just fish. <laughs> Yeah, it's the most thrilling way to die in Minecraft. Starvation. I'm still salty about my uh, my hardcore run. I was completely all set to uh, fight the dragon and I just freaking walk off a cliff. Ooh, what is that? Crimson chest. Oh, I died. <laughs> Just walked into lava. Wait. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Which way did I go? Oh, that way, apparently. <laughs> The game was lagging or something, because the, the lava wasn't loading the light, and the chest didn't open until after I started friggin' dying. <laughs> this mod pack, you have to give it uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is like 4 times as much as what the server I have running 
is given. It seems to be running pretty smooth now though. I think that that, uh, that light glitch is also gone. Nope, I can still see it. I did miss mini maps and the, the waypoints. Having that available is so nice. It's just a quality of life thing. It's like, where'd I die? Oh, over there. <laughs> Of course, Minecraft's doing its weird thing again where the, the music is broken. So let me turn music back on. Alright, now if I walk in the lava, I'll spawn right there. Hello, villager. Don't mind me, just stealing your stuff. Left this sapling in there. I'll just plant that for you. I don't need a leather tunic, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's a nice little village. It's not nice enough for me to stay, though. I will rob them of everything they are worth and run off into the sunset probably to die and respawn in their village again <laughs> uh, you sir have trapped yourself there you go <laughs> ah yes where I died Thankfully, my body is here. It's okay, I am crafting here too. <laughs> this lava is still not rendering in right. Which is why I fell on this one. I'm really curious to see what kind of natural structures they have in this mod pack. It's one of my favorite things is exploring and finding new new things. And this one has promised new things. I mean the biomes look great, but I mean that mod ex has existed forever. How do I harvest this? Can I harvest this? I don't think I can. That is not a chicken. Chickens are not that color. Wait, I should grab a bed before I leave this village. That way I don't have to mess with the night. And food, of course.
<laughs> I have three different types of armor. <laughs> Alright, I need a bed. How do I remove these waypoints? Didn't work. I have to delete it twice. But apparently it still exists. <laughs> oh, it vanished. Alright, time to time to make a boat and see what the world has to offer. Now I do have to fight the Ender Dragon to start doing vaults. I don't know what that process involves, so I'll have to wait and see. I think until you get to the vault, it's pretty much supposed to be like vanilla Minecraft with uh, with just a bit of modding thrown in. That's one feature I really like, is the ability to uh, group everything, so having to click everything. Let's see, I don't need this. This is burning too. Does that hurt me? No. I'm guessing it, it catches... I think it's altruistic three. I don't know what these do. I'm guessing the burning one will catch people that attack you on fire. Kind of like thorns, except burn. I think all the animals have extra skins to kind of diversify them a bit. We got normal cow, uh, real world, real world cow, <laughs> real world, world cow too. <laughs> Alright, I am fully armored with crappy gear, but uh, gear nonetheless. I also have quite a bit of iron, so I could probably make some better tools as well. Don't have a need for it just yet, though. I love these biomes. They just need to pay whoever made this, this uh, mod for the biomes to just implement those into the base game. Mojang will never be able to to get on that level. <laughs> Although with the uh, the second half of the Caves and Cliffs update we're supposed to finally get like backpacks. Oh, game, game freezing. kind of tree that is. I'm gonna guess amaranth. I think amaranth is usually purple.
with uh, biomes of plenty, I think they should have a uh, cherry blossom too. Jacaranda. Take some of these with me. What is this? Ooh, this one hurt me. No? Some mod packs have flowers that hurt you when you step on them. <laughs> There's like a wither rose and some other stuff. Which might actually exist in this one. Yep. If you were to step on this, you get withered. <laughs> Now with all these new biomes, I'm not sure where to settle. Or if I even want to settle yet. If I can find more cows. I'm guessing we have backpacks in this. Yep, we have a backpack. <laughs> from two different mod packs. So simply backpacks. Ooh, you have to do volts first. What about this one? Oh, it's disabled. <laughs> that makes sense. They probably want you to do the vault stuff before you can even unlock most of these things. I think in my hardcore world, I basically got to the end, or up to the end, in about six hours. If I gun for the end, I could probably do about the same. But with this being a, a mod pack, some of it might be more difficult. Surviving in the nether in a mod pack is usually a lot more difficult because they have extra monsters that can uh, ruin the experience for you if you are unprepared. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of tall mountains in this. I feel like they're, they're throwing shade at Mojang for the caves and cliffs. <laughs> They're like, look, we've had this for years. And to be fair, I think most people play mod packs nowadays anyways. There's just so many different mod mod creators. It's like getting free expansions to a game. I think that is a meteorite, which I probably can't mine yet. I think that's used for uh, applied energistics. Yep. <laughs> hey, the game. I really gotta find a spot that's not a mountain. Because I do not want to have to climb that to get back up to my base every time. It looks pretty cool, but uh. <laughs> 
What furnace? I don't see a furnace. Oh. <laughs> And the game just keeps giving me these swamps and uh, mountains. Yeah, I ain't climbing that mountain to get to my base. You gotta be crazy if you want to build a, a base at the top of that mountain. <laughs> you gotta do a training session every time you want to go back up. Oh, I did not build there. I was saying I, I would never build my base up there for that exact reason. I do kind of like these funky these funky blue trees. Oh my god, every tree in this mod pack is too tall. You have to build up to every tree to remove the top of them. Oh my god, there's more. Let's see, I don't need that, don't need that. I don't need Batania stuff yet. <laughs> yeah. Mod, mod packs that uh, make the trees too tall to cut down. Like, I'm not even going to try to cut down that one. <laughs> I like the tree, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not spending 15 minutes cutting that thing down. I'll wait until I get something that can automatically cut them down. Cause I, there's got to be something in the mod pack that does it. Oh look, we got the the blue enchanted and the green enchanted. <laughs> there's a. I think in the Twilight Forest mod, they have something like a mega sapling, I think. Or maybe it's not even that, maybe it's one of the other mods. There's like a a sacred oak sapling or something and it's and it's like ridiculously tall. Like it'll lag your world for like five minutes while it renders in. <laughs> Like, I think there's even a warning on it, like, be careful, this is a very big tree. <laughs> yeah, when you, when you spawn it in, it basically turns everything into darkness, so things just spawn under it all the time. Right now, I'm hoping to find some kind of new structures to claim but I'm not sure if they even have different structures in this or if it's just uh, biomes Oh great, more more giant trees. Ooh, what's that? Uh what I oh this. It tells you what the thing is that you're looking at. 
So they changed uh, mushrooms, apparently. Yeah, one of the mods in this is called Oh, the biomes you'll go. Uh, I, I, I don't know if there's a cap. So I think it would just keep stretching across the screen. <laughs> I might just have to pick a biome at this point. Because I just need to get geared up to do the Ender Dragon. That way I can unlock vaults. I think I might build in the desert. I think that's a desert over there. Yeah, it looks like wheat. It's tall prairie grass. What makes you say that? <laughs> What is that over there? I think it's not another nether portal. Buried treasure. I need to sleep. Oh, uh, hello, it is nighttime. <laughs> I don't need dark oak. Is this nearby? This is nearby. Uh, potentially. I've tried to keep my stream times somewhat in the same time zone because of that. But I know some nights I was streaming pretty late, so I think quite a few of the people that have subscribed to me are like in different time zones. Like completely different time zones, I should say. Which is why I have to be a little more consistent with when I stream, <laughs> instead of just streaming whenever I feel like it. <laughs> Although I guess it both works. Okay, the treasure should be here. Uh, instead of punching sand, I think I'm just going to uh, make a shovel, like a normal person would. <laughs> that sounds smarter. Uh, kind of and kind of not. Until I hit affiliate, I need to be smart about when I stream and what I stream. I don't trust this stew, so I'm going to get rid of that too. 
I don't need this treasure map anymore. I can find sugar cane anywhere. Don't need rotten flesh. I technically don't need the TNT either, but I always like to take it. <laughs> uh, time to go loot that nether portal. I think I've got some pretty decent gear to start with. I could find a pool of lava and jump right into the nether actually. Which I might do that. I kind of want to like gun it right for the, the ender dragon because I want to unlock the, the vaults. Ooh, that is a lot of lava. You finished your homework already? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you mentioned something about it. How's that? Yeah, the stew could be good, but I don't like risking it. I'm not a gambler. <laughs> I'm not a gambling man. That, see, that's not gambling, that's a calculated risk. <laughs> that sounds pretty crappy and painless. See you later, Gabe. So it is being done at least, right? Well, your tuition has been taken care of though, right? <laughs> well, that's good at least. I really need to eat this apple to get it out of my inventory. Actually... Some people just say things and then they they don't realize that they didn't do it. <laughs> they just want people to stop asking them. <laughs> all right, I put all this junk away now. Apparently I already had a crafting table. <laughs> yes, now after the stressful thing that you didn't intent and didn't anticipate, now you have to do the actual stressful thing.
<laughs> Good luck this time as well. <laughs> I need to grab that gold. So I need to grab. Oh, never mind. I'm already wearing gold. Two things of gold, so I should be good in the Nether. I feel like I should bring the saddle too, because I might be able to ride one of the uh, one of the lava guys. Let's put all this stuff away. I will make a couple pickaxes because you never know how much netherrack you have to get through. I'll leave one in here, take the other ones with me. I don't have any dirt on this island. I need dirt. In case I have not been clear, I plan to go into the nether, which means I'm going to use this lava to make the rest of the portal. Or I guess a different portal entirely, since that weeping obsidian is going to get in the way. I guess I could make it that way. Apparently there's a little cave underneath me as well, because these zombies are there. Which could be a problem, because it means I probably can't sleep through the night. Once again, this will be something I get to when I get to, though. This is my temporary island. Just because of the proximity to this. <laughs> Time to do the good old bucket method. Let's see, I need to go this way. Because I don't really feel like punching that obsidian for uh, like five minutes, I think. Or is crying obsidian quicker? I can't tell. I'm assuming it's also five minutes. Please let me sleep. There we go. <laughs> and the problem is I need to get that gold. Or I want to get that gold, I should say. But I also need to encase this a bit. And I can't use wood. Gotta put away all this junk. I'll put half of that in here as well, just in case I die. Let's see, I need to put one here. Nope, not there. There. Once again, incorrect. Oh, I did not go where I wanted it to go. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. Dang it. <laughs> Here goes my lava. Dang it. I 
I should have planned this better. Now I need... Like four pieces of obsidian. Which means four buckets of lava. And since I just ruined all of these... Oh! There, there, there goes the gold. But I got lava. <laughs> oh, today is a mess. Complete mess. Okay, let me just put this lava over here for safekeeping. Watch me step in it. Cause I think there's more lava under here. Put that also over here for safekeeping. It's two of four. Let's see if I can find two more buckets that are hiding. Alright, there's one. Watch me one short. That's usually how this goes. Yeah, I think I went short. Yeah, I've kind of been digging under it, but I think it was one layer. I'll have to find another another chunk of uh, lava because <laughs> I ruined it. I ruined it. Of course, it was it was too deep for the one that had. Uh... <laughs> it was two layers deep for the one that had the the gold next to it. So of course, it's two on that one. Hello, gold. I wonder if there's any exposed lava anywhere. I have a map. Let me look at this handy map. Have I? Ooh, what is that? That is cool. <laughs> that impact. I passed the desert and I didn't even realize it. There's a ravine down here. <laughs> it looks like Australia. <laughs> yeah, it does actually. Wow. Now that you mention it, like that shape is pretty pretty on point. <laughs> <laughs> you know they have a uh, a map that they've scaled down in Minecraft there's like a server you can join that has like all of the continents and everything Probably take the boat instead of uh, <laughs> swimming over there. Although if that ravine is underwater, there's probably no lava left. 
I will take your advice and I would just dig straight down. I've already set my spawn, so I mean. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, I will make a door. I can use a door as a safety net. This will be my safety. Uh, doors work in water, so I plan on doing this. Although, that'll be like my, my way back up. What I'll probably actually do is just do it like this. Do one side, then the other. This is the safe way of digging straight down. Got some tin. Of course, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get distracted by like <laughs> every new block. Also, I need to light that up so something doesn't spawn and then come down into the pit. There's like zombies all around me. Thankfully I haven't dug into whatever pit they're in. I wonder if there's a spawner. I have a lot of updates on my uh, server I've been playing on. Uh, I'll probably showcase those maybe tomorrow. Because I might dedicate my stream on Thursday to this mod pack as well but I've been doing quite a bit of work on the server so how come you can't just get your uh... usually you have like an advisor thing and they basically do that stuff. It seems weird to have the student have to compare courses. I can hear lava. It is this way. somewhere. That was uh, uranium. Uranite. Uraninite. They changed it. It used to just be uranium. Well, I know I'm next to lava because there's soapstone. And because I can hear it. Now I think cinnabar is used to make uh, silver something, quicksilver I think. Man you should see some of these, I wonder if this has it. There's a couple mod packs that have like this entire like chemistry thing where you basically break everything down into their base chemicals. And it's like real complicated. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what mod pack I played it in, but it was sophisticated. <laughs> Usually I, I I, I tinker with those kind of mod packs 
but I never get really into them. I'm, I like science, but I also like to play video games. To play video games, not to uh, to study something that isn't applicable in the real world. <laughs> If I'm going to learn science, I'm just going to take a chemistry class. I'm not going to figure out how a Minecraft mod works. <laughs> Alright, I cannot find this lava. I hear it bubbling, but I do not see it. That's, that's how I feel about, like, people have made real computers inside of Minecraft. And, like, why would you spend so much time doing that? Like, they've taken basic vanilla Minecraft and they used a redstone to basically recreate an actual computer. And it's like, why? <laughs> you don't get any money from that. They, they probably spent weeks putting redstone down. Oh my god, where are you? Lava, please. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, I guess I shouldn't say it's a waste of time. Whatever you enjoy doing in Minecraft, I guess it's not a waste if you enjoy doing it. But to me, that seems like a lot of work. And I have dug around. And I think I went the wrong way. I don't like how sound works in this game because I it sounds like it's coming from everywhere. Is it like above me? Did I miss it somewhere up here? I hear it. I'm like putting my ear to the wall, <laughs> even though it does nothing. <laughs> Alright, I hear no lava. I hear lava. It's probably just down. It's probably just more down. Yep, it's louder. Now I hear it. I hear it very loud now. Let me make sure I got a quick escape on my hotbar. <laughs> Uh, this is not redstone. This is scoria stone. I guess in a sense it is redstone. I have found bedrock. Well, if we go by that logic, I found redstone way up there. Now, gold is technically a better indicator. Alright, I see lava dripping. That is an even better indicator. <laughs> uh, oh. Gold usually spawns around the same level as, uh,. Lava does. Whoops. I don't want to be in that pit. Alright, I got my one bucket of lava. 
<laughs> but now I'm in a dilemma because I need I need another bucket to get back up. Although I guess I could just do this. This is how I died in my in my hardcore world. I used this primitive method of uh, scaffolding, and this is how I died because of DeGabe. I still blame DeGabe. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> you started asking me questions, the next thing I know I'm walking off into the into the pit. <laughs> I'm so sad cuz I'll never know. I'll never know if I was going to be able to beat the dragon. I'm pretty confident that I could have. I swear, the, the the biggest cause of death for me in this game is just falling. So let's just cover that up. <laughs> I have my lava over here, secure from being turned into other things. Uh, I should probably do this smarter, but I'm not going to. Actually, maybe I will. I don't feel like having to, to fight with this thing. Lava doesn't work like that. You can't pull lava out of this like you do water. Lava is not infinite. You, each one can't replenish the other. Right now it does make for a very nice uh, trash can though. Yeah, if you could make infinite lava, that'd be very useful. But unfortunately you can't. How do I research? Some of these things require research. Un unlike some of the other mod packs, this one doesn't I still blame you, DeGabe. I blame you. <laughs> uh, this mod pack doesn't really tell you what to do. Usually they come with like a questing book or something that says go here or use this to make this. This one's just like go for it. <laughs> Which I guess is fun in its own way. I'm curious how to research though, because it, it, it requires research to do things. <laughs> I really need to smelt some of this stuff down. I also need another chest, because I have too many items. There's too many types of stone. <laughs> I don't really need to hide the chest. There's no monsters that I'm aware of that will come up and steal from it. I assume you're talking about for like multiplayer servers? I tend to hide mine in the floor. I usually have like a, a block that I can identify. I have a shirt.
to Gabe over here with the dad jokes. <laughs> That's the same kind of uh, wordplay you get when you do uh, it's not puzzles, riddles. A lot of riddles are just wordplay. Okay, now I actually have blocks. And of course, true to my, my usual state, I forget what I'm actually doing in the moment and start doing something else. I went over to that workbench to make a, a bucket and I made like 50 other things before the bucket. <laughs> I need... Was I one short still? No. Next ones go here. I think that's tall enough. You fly without wings and cry without eyes. Uh, I'd probably say a rain cloud. <laughs> I used to love, love riddles. I had an entire book of them that I wrote down from uh, various places. Yeah, that's why I built it off to the side here. I used these three that were already there as like a a way of avoiding having to get three more lava. You technically don't have to have the corner pieces, you just have to have the main frame. Time to see what we get. I brought the cauldron because you can put water in that. And since I have a map, I can keep track of where the portal is. Well, once again, uh, I'm in this biome that I hate. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of this biome. Because all you find are those stupid boars. Oh, there's an enderman. I need, I need your pearls. Oh. 
Well, that's a terrifying noise. Let me just dig this hole a little deeper. <laughs> I forgot to make a shield. So these guys are going to wreck me. How many hearts they have? Oh, the game said something. <laughs> Oh, wow, it timed you out. I'm going to die. Ooh, that was close. There we go to Gabe and timed you out. Oh, it timed you out again. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, but it doesn't like it. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. That is pretty. Ooh, we do have those guys here. So I can make a fishing pole with one of those. But I don't think I have string. But I think you need string to make that fishing pole. And I don't know if anything actually gives you string in the end. Not the end. I always call it the night or the end. Ooh. I'm gonna die. Oh. <laughs> These endermen are scaring me. They are like teleporting all over the place, hurting themselves. And I think they're attacking me when they're not. Knowing my luck, I'm going to need like 15 ender pearls, so might as well start getting them, unlike last time. When I went to go do the end and I had to like farm ender pearls for like 4 hours. Two pearls from four endermen. Not a great rate. The heck is that? I gotta watch where I'm looking because there's so many endermen all over the place. And I don't have a shield, so if one of them starts attacking me and I don't have cover, uh, bad things will happen. Oh, I don't like you either. These things are even worse than endermen. Yeah, I'm just not going to fight it. <laughs> Get away from me, pig. What is this? 
magmatic stone. Oh my god, there's so many things that are bad. Man, that guy zoomed. I don't know where to go. Every direction is bad. I'm interested in seeing what this does, though. Uh oh. I don't like the cubes. These things are annoying. They 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 hit deceptively hard when they jump on you. All right, this was a dead end. I don't really want to tunnel into the wall just yet. I'd like to find kind of an open, open path somewhere. Might be a, a bit of an ask though, with these biomes. They should obviously still have the Nether Fortress and the Bastions, but I don't know if they'll have extra stuff outside of that. So far in the overworld, I didn't see anything different. Ah, uh, I thought that was a, a fortress. Yeah, I don't know what, what you were saying before, but don't don't time yourself out again. <laughs> Funny. I mean, it's hilarious. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> so far I'm not seeing anything different than the normal nether other than these crazy biomes. That's because I'm focused. <laughs> I still need to spend some time uh, updating my my avatar. It's gonna get like a completely different design slash look once I have time to actually spend uh, developing it. I kind of like it. Ember, Ember Nylium. This looks really cool. I like this a lot. This is like uh, ghost trees. Ooh, it's a gel block. Oh, that's gross. Oh. 
Where'd it come from? I thought these were like clouds, but they're uh, <laughs> apparently they're gel. What do they do? If I was in an, in an anime, my personality is probably similar to, uh, what's, what's the name of the character in, uh, My Hero, where he has the, uh, like the jet legs? I'd probably be like that guy. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, Ida. I'm a stickler for the rules. <laughs> now that's an accurate portrayal of what I'd be like in an anime but what I'd like to be like is the guy from Long Horizon uh shoot what's his name Shiro I'd like to be like the master strategist. Ooh, this looks spooky. Blue netherrack. Take some of that back with me. <laughs> you don't have an idea of what character you'd be? How about specifically in My Hero Academia? Hey, I strategized pretty hard in the, the hardcore stream. I just failed. <laughs> There's a difference between attempting and doing. <laughs> I don't think you're trying hard enough, yeah, well. <laughs> There's so many characters in that anime. One of them has to be somewhat applicable. <laughs> Those personality quizzes are just a con to steal your information. I'm not even kidding about that. <laughs> the people that make those quizzes are just after your, like your answers to those questions because those questions sometimes are related to like your security questions on an account. Oh my god. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> I am safe. I am safe in my stone tomb. I don't think many people like Mineta. <laughs> All right, I am officially stuck. <laughs> let me let me tunnel my way out.
I, I can say anything. It just doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> oh, they're over here. Ow. Oh my god, how many of them are spawning over there? All I hear are blazes. Do I have anything I can use other than a sword? Uh oh. <laughs> well, you need to go wake her up if she sounds like that. <laughs> Oh my god. Man, they hit hard. I do not even want to leave this room. <laughs> There's so many. It sounds like literal hell out there. Like, I don't know how many have spawned at this point. But, uh... <laughs> uh oh. Oh, I jumped. That literally jump scared me. I have not. I would be terrible at that game. I do not do uh, resource management games that well. Uh oh. I think I hit him. Alright, I'm just going to have to tunnel, because there's too many to kill. I cannot fight all these things. There's too many. <laughs> yes, the game has cursed me. Ah, oh, I can hear again. Sweet peace. Do you hate me? I can't tell if you hate me. I, th I don't think he hates me. He's acting like it. <laughs> it's one of those decisions where you're like, do I hit the pig or do I not hit the pig? It looks like he's angry, but he wasn't angry. <laughs> Alright, now I need to get back into that fortress because I need more blaze rods. But I need to find a way. Oh! I think my burning burns things that are near me. That's what all those flames are. I have like a flame aura. Because of this. That's pretty cool.
I mean, most of the things in the nether can't really be hurt by it, so... It doesn't do much for me. And, oh my god, it is dark. <laughs> it is very dark. <laughs> I have my settings on the default. I haven't cranked them up at all. A soul shroom. Well, I'll take this, because I need this. I also need to take... Uh-oh. They found me. Uh-oh. <laughs> I really need a bow. I need a bow really bad. You finished your application? Come on. Come closer so I can hit you through the stairs, please. <laughs> I don't want to fight you fairly. You're too strong. What is this soul shroom block? Uh, Gabe, this is a mod pack. This is the uh, Vault Hunters. Yeah, hopefully you don't have to do it again. Let my aura kill you, Pikmin. I kill you by looking at you. <laughs> this is your fate, Piglin. I don't think it ruins it at all. I think it adds to it. Like, look at this. This looks amazing. This isn't really life. This is more, uh... This is way more scenic than the normal nether. Like, you got this spooky forest. You have whatever the heck this stuff's supposed to be. This is like crystallized souls. Oh, that's cool. When I did my hardcore run, I managed to get a portal to spawn right right into a fortress. It took a couple of tries, but I got it. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Please leave me alone. Let me just die in this corner. Oh my god. These these blazes are uh, a handful. See now Reese's aren't good for you. That's just sugar. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> yeah, peanut butter and chocolate's a, like a really good combination. But the problem with Reese's is they put too much sugar in it. You can have peanut butter and chocolate without having to add a bucket of sugar into it.
<laughs> yeah, unfortunately there was a, a chest behind him, so I kind of had to go that way. Oh my god, there's so many of these things. Ow. Oh, there's another one. The stair is going to be a death of me. Nice. Out of six. Uh oh. diamond. What is this? <laughs> well, the stairs were going to be a death to me because they kept slowing me down when I was trying to get the blaze to use its three shoot, uh, three shots. Blazes send out three uh, blasts of fire and then they they recharge so you kind of have to take them out during the recharge assuming you don't have armor to tank it my main issue right now is I don't have a lot of food so I'm gonna have to start heading back probably because these blazes each take like one steak to beat It'd be nice if you could just reflect it with a shield or something. Like maybe you can put some kind of like fire resist on your shield to be able to deflect fire blasts. What can I do with this? Is this spongy? <laughs> I'm wondering if it'll help with like fall damage maybe I don't know which way I came from uh, the portal is that way. Let me go ahead and mark this as fortress. I have six blade rods. This means I could have a potential for 12 eyes of ender, but I'll probably need more. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> I'm gonna need a couple more blaze rods. Maybe I'll go back to that spot where there was like 50 of them. Got a blaze rod. <laughs> well, you got in order to get to the end, you have to harvest a bunch of rods and a bunch of pearls. 
So, I mean, you can blame Mojang for that innuendo. <laughs> I'm going to block it off this time. I don't think it's so much cooperation so much as forced uh, forced something. Forced obligation. I'm gonna poke a hole in here. That didn't work as planned. Let me put a door in. <laughs> I'll put a door in that side and a door in that side. Alright, I got eight. I can hear many of them. Oh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> oh, you're still doing the quizzes? <laughs> Maybe not maybe not agreeing with them is part of the result. Maybe that's part of your character. See, that's what, exactly what a main character would say. <laughs> tell me, tell me that Deku is, is main character material. <laughs> And that he would also say that same exact thing. <laughs> Ow. If you guys could stop setting fire to everything, that'd be great. Cause uh you're you're destroying my drops. <laughs> There's technically ways around 
your world being deleted. I imagine in colonial United States you would want to deny being British. <laughs> Oh my god, they keep destroying all my drops. Stop it. Because of my burning enchantment. Because magic. <laughs> like you said earlier to Gabe, this is Minecraft. It doesn't have to make sense. I definitely like that enchantment though. That's really nice. Alright, I have 10 blaze rods. That should be good enough. Oh. Let me get the heck out of here. Yeah, the one that charged at me and I couldn't tell if he didn't like me or not. <laughs> I'm taking the secret bridge. Because I do not want to fight any of these things. I just want to leave. Leave me in peace, skeleton. Let me let me make my little tunnel between here. <laughs> yep. Yep. I knew he'd come for me. That's why I made the bridge wider. <laughs> uh oh. That blaze saw me. They know I got the goods and I'm trying to leave. <laughs> I'm like Shawshank redemptioning this. <laughs> Let me tunnel out. <laughs> Is it safe? It is mildly safe. Oh wow, this... This uh, fortress was fairly close to where I came in. It was just hidden. That's nice. That'll be easy to find. Let me put a door here. Be like, look! Look over here. <laughs> hey, so I have blaze rods. I'm technically at the stop point. Oh, what is that? Why does he have a crossbow? It's okay, buddy. I'll send you back to hell. <laughs> no, he must return. His people need him. There. Now he's safe back in hell. <laughs> I 
I have an answer. Do I feel recyclable? Sometimes. <laughs> Uh, this is a mod pack. This is uh, Vault Hunters. As you can see by the... <laughs> All I had to do was turn around and be like, Yep, mod pack. <laughs> Everything here looks normal. Look behind me, magic trees. <laughs> I do have to get to the Ender Dragon though. Uh, no, this is on, uh, the curse, the new curse forge. I kind of want to repair this because that burning enchantment was really nice uh, unfortunately I do need to go back into the nether because I need to kill a bunch of endermen and I think that was the best place to do it so let's make another sword so I'm gonna go through this one pretty quick all right back in back to hell <laughs> Uh, what I was saying is, uh, I'm technically at the end of my scheduled stream, but I'll probably play for another hour. Uh, I basically just full screen it. So I don't play in, in full screen. I play in, uh... Uh, I guess it's technically called full screen, but <laughs> uh, it's not technically full screen. It's just like maximized. I can hear the Enderman. I cannot see the Enderman. Oh, there he is. Hello, Enderman. Let me make this safe. Oh, there's two of you. Okay, got one pearl. Uh, I'm not going to make the same mistake I made last time and underestimate the amount of pearls I need. So I need to farm up. I have like four in my chest already. I need at least 12. So I'll probably want to make like 16 or 17 Eyes of Ender. I <laughs> love that enchantment. <laughs> Dang it. I really need looting on my sword. But that requires making an enchanting table, and I only have a single diamond. And it also requires a lot of luck, which I am in short supply of today. Okay, I'm not going to go down there, so I'm just going to fall into the lava. Let me make another safe kill zone. 
See you again. This will probably be much like my, uh... <laughs> this will probably be much like my, uh, hardcore run. Where I get to the point where I need to farm ender pearls, like, right now. And then in part two, I have to go kill the ender dragon. So the ender dragon fight on this world will probably be on Thursday. Because it looks like the endermen are in short supply. Despite this being the, the biome for them. Yeah, they know I want their pearls. I feel like a pirate every time I say that. Like, I feel like that sentence is only something a pirate would say. Ooh, that scared me. Fell through the tree. Alright, Enderman. Once again, I have to make a safe space to fight you. I mean, the window... Uh, ow, ow. Please stop hitting me. Ow. <laughs> I mean, I think they have a borderless mode, don't they? You know, I'm going to go ahead and make a shield so that when I go back to my body, I have a shield. Because I keep forgetting to make this. I don't know, it doesn't really bother me. I've gotten pretty used to it. That's the whole reason why it's not actually full screen on the stream as well. As you'll notice, it's like a black bar at the top and the bottom. I've kind of positioned it in such a way that it looks uh, like a movie or something. <laughs> Now here's the surprise, if you haven't seen my previous death, I am here. <laughs> There's my dead corpse. Hello, Enderman. I have fixed the hole in my defense. <laughs> Apparently I have not. Let me put a block there, too. Nice. I'll take that. Don't mind me. I'm just fighting over the corpse. Of my oh, my corpse is gone. I hear Enderman. Where is he? I'm gonna run out of food. There he is. Alright, I'm gonna look at him, and then run back over here. I don't think he's angry. Oh, there's one over there too. Hello, angry man. Ow. Up to three pearls. I don't know where the other one went. He's probably going to pop out of nowhere and like just punch me in the face. There's another one though. If, if he'll be angry or not, I don't know. There's one. Alright, how the heck do you guys keep 
breaking that block. I keep putting a block there and I keep breaking it. Or actually no, that was this side. Oh, there's one. Uh oh. I lagged. That lag is going to kill me one of these days. Come on, Enderman. There's like two of you around here. Oh, there's one. Let me duck back under here. <laughs> I see you. Can't hide from me, Enderman. He's trying to get me to pop out and then clock me over the head. Where'd he go? Did he go over there? Come on. Come on, Enderman. hear him. Uh oh. Run. <laughs> that was the one that was angry at me earlier. Apparently he de de aggroed at some point. Hello Enderman. Mind me, just looking for a, a safe place to kill you from. All right, are you angry? Are you chill? Apparently, you're chill. Can you not be chill? Oh, oh, there's a bunch of them over there. Come at me, Enderman. Ah. They're all like hiding under here. As soon as I pop out, they're going to murder me. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to extend the safety zone. Why are you guys trapped underneath this tree? They're all like getting stuck underneath that tree. Oh, there's one. They're so angry, but they're stuck.
is very dangerous. Oh. Fighting him at eye level. <laughs> it's two of them down, I think. Should be one more. Maybe. Well, up to seven pearls, I have five back at the base. So maybe I'll go ahead and start trying to find the fortress. Who knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get lucky. Oh my god, that scared me. From above, that that shroom light looks like lava. I thought I was about to fall into that. I'd really like to not die when I have this many ender pearls on me. Especially not inside of lava. Because as soon as I get to the end and I fight the Ender Dragon, I should be able to start doing vaults, which is the whole point of this mod pack. Well, not the whole point, but it is kind of like the main feature. Come on, Enderman. Come at me. I imagine at some point they'll probably patch out this AI. They'll probably make it so the Enderman don't come near you if they can't reach you. Or they'll just make it so they can teleport in. <laughs> then they'll be a very scary fight. Nice, got two more. I should hopefully have enough. I'm not gonna say definitely. Because last time I broke like four or five pearls just on the way back. Or not not on the way back, on the way to the, the fortress. Although I'm going to have to decide what to take with me. Because I only have so much stuff. Or so much room. I don't need the warped mycelium. I technically only need one saddle. Multiple saddles would be nice. I guess I could mark this place. There we go. I can always come back here. Definitely taking the bamboo with me, because that's hard to find later on. The rest of this stuff can stay. Soul sand and nether wart will come with me.
Most of this stuff's not too rare. Let's see, I'll put this away since I already have a fresh one. Alright, that should be good. Figure out what direction I need to go. That way. And it gave me it back. That's nice. question is, how far this way do I need to go? I'll try to find like a landmass over here and then throw it again. If I'm lucky, it'll be right at the landmass. If I'm unlucky, it'll be in the middle of this ocean. <laughs> and I guess there's also the, the chance that it's, it's still farther. If it's in the ocean, sometimes you can actually see the fortress from the ocean. And those ones are pretty convenient. I am slightly disappointed. I haven't seen any any new structures. There's no like overworld dungeons that were added, I don't think. That's a pumpkin biome though. You see the little pumpkins that are generated. That pumpkin's actually made out of pumpkins. <laughs> oh boy, another monolithic freaking mountain over there. Yeah, pumpkin pumpkin. Watch, watch the fortress be in that. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping I find a village before I find the fortress because I'd like to make use of one of the Fletchers. Yep, still that direction. Aww. What is this? Copper. I mean, it is a really nice looking biome, but man, it would be a pain to go up and down that to get, oh, that's an above ground uh, water thing. I love when those spawn above ground because I don't have to fight any drowned to get the, to get the treasure. Well, I've broken one eye vendor so far, which means I have 12 potentially. So if the portal requires 12, I'll have to hunt Enderman again. Yeah, oh no, Enderman again. It's mostly just boring. <laughs> I have found llamas. Oh, sorry llama. I forgot I can't stand near anything. <laughs> everything I everything I get near dies.
I think I'm pretty close to the fortress because it feels like it's kind of being triangulated here. Let's do this again. Yeah, I'm pretty near the fortress. It's going to be like right here. I'm going to have to throw it again though because I don't want to have to dig down and then it not be there. Try it right here. Yep, it's over there. It's like right here. Yeah, the flowers are very nice. These are uh, Botania flowers. These are actually magical. Uh, you can do a lot of cool stuff with this, which I'll get into later. But I'll have to actually make a base before I get into these. I've messed with Botania quite a bit. It's a pretty popular mod. There's some really cool boss fights in it. And when you beat the boss, you get a record that plays the boss music. And the boss music is like this, like, uh, like metal rock kind of thing. I think this mod pack is in like 116 something. I think I need this block for create. So I will get rid of something for it. I feel like Cabro is actually needed for something. So I will store some of it. Now there is one thing I've just realized, and that is, if I have in fact found the fortress, and I do not find, ooh, that looks bizarre. Go away, creeper. <laughs> that didn't work. Hold on, creeper, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Wait. 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 <laughs> Wait, please. <laughs> that that enchantment is very powerful. <laughs> uh please stop coming at me, creeper. Let me just do that real quick. Not that, this. While this looks very cool, and I'd love to explore it, uh, it looks very deadly. Which means I have to explore it. Because I need those spiders. I need to make a bow. <laughs> I really don't want to do this. There's going to be so many enemies in here. Alright, there's a bow. <laughs> Let me 
can just light this up. Oh, there's the fortress. Don't mind me, just block this up. <laughs> no creepers allowed. Come on, creeper, you know the deal. You're supposed to go to Koji's base. That's what I pay you for. That bow is very weak. I tossed all the wood away. And the creeper blew it up. So now I need wood. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Is that oh that is a that is a freaking spawner this whole place is probably filled with spawners based on these creepers I'm gonna say yes what the heck is that thing is that like a crab it's a tortoise No, I'm just gonna go down here. Go down here. Close the door. I really need torches, which means I need wood. Is there a good source of wood down here? I feel like the answer to that is no. If I can find the library, it should have wood in it. Ooh, I don't like that. I do not like that sound. Oh, found the portal. It is completely empty. <laughs> oh man. Luckily for me, I actually have the exact amount I need. Somehow. Just do not mess up placing it. Ooh, it lagged. I thought I misclicked. Alright, we got the portal. Unfortunately, I'm not actually ready to fight the uh, Ender Dragon. Because I am lacking a lot of things. We'll mark the coordinates. And hopefully I can find everything I need in the rest of the fortress. And I apologize for how dark it is, but I can barely see as well. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh great, I found coal. That'll help, because I have zero wood. All these rooms go nowhere. Ooh, what is this? Glucidium is pretty nice. Dry ice. That sounds dangerous. If you didn't know, dry ice when you put it in water like explodes. It's a pretty fun science experiment, but definitely dangerous. Hello. I'm looking for loot because I found the portal and I have the portal open, but I do not have anything with which to fight the dragon. I am now going in circles because I have no way of marking where I've been. <laughs> No, no useful way of marking, I should say. Zinc. Emeralds. Those are always nice. Uranium. That's not going to be usable for a long time. More emeralds. What is this? At natural scoria sulfur lots of new stuff to mess with but I don't have anything to use it with at the moment so it might as well be useless because you have to research it and I don't even know how to research This is the way I already went. <laughs> it's just the other path. That is the same way I came from. I'm not going down that path again. And I'm pretty sure I already went up here. Yep. But I don't think I checked these side rooms. There should be a library somewhere in this fortress. But watch it prove me wrong. This place I already came from. Pretty sure, anyways. It's kind of hard to keep track. See, I went that way. Went that way. Came from this way. But I might not have checked all of these I could really do with a torch right about now 
Because man, it is dark. I have like 40 coal and no wood to make torches. Alright, back to the portal. <laughs> I think I came from this direction to, be, to start with. Yep. I put that block down there to indicate where I started. Which means there might be more over there. Sometimes these uh, fortresses kind of get split in two. And you have to like, knock down a wall to get to the next part. Like that. I don't want to eat these apples because I want to use those for gold apples. Oh, it's a good thing I went back to uh, the screen. Oh, there's another one. Can you not do that, creeper? I just built that bridge. Oh, ender pearls. See you, creeper. Can't can't trick me. Uh oh. You know, I'm just gonna have to keep keep making this dang bridge. Oh, well that's probably why. Uh oh. No thank you. No thank you. Please go away. There we go. <laughs> I'm safe. I placed the bed. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. I'm gonna block that up for now. Alright, I'm probably going to end it there. I got quite a bit of exploring left to do. Because I have to... I need to get arrows and... <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to wrap up to Gabe. I have the portal open. I just can't go through it just yet. Because I need... I need supplies. So I'll probably do that on Thursday. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll catch you guys uh, either tomorrow for like a, a pretty chill stream or Thursday for hopefully